Creating Friendships, a Comprehensive Guide. Let's engage in a little exercise, shall we? Reflect on these two inquiries. When was the last instance you experienced profound happiness? And when did you feel significantly down? Consider deeply. Was there an individual involved? Or was it attributed to someone's absence from your life? Now enumerate five close companions you've cultivated over the past five years. Could you identify five individuals? It's likely that many of you responded affirmatively to the former query, but negatively to the latter. For the majority, intimate bonds tend to materialize in scholastic environments, workplaces, or through shared interests in adolescence. Some bonded through music school, others through hip-hop dancing, or as teammates on the soccer field. We gravitate towards the same social circles, frequent the same venues, and engage in repetitive conversations. While there's nothing inherently erroneous about this, your life could be enriched by selecting and connecting with the right individuals. This presentation will furnish you with nine guiding principles to facilitate the formation of the relationships you desire. Ensure you watch until the conclusion to glean all pertinent insights. Assume the initiative. If you've recently concluded your academic journey, relocated to a new city, and aspire to cultivate meaningful friendships, it's imperative to assume the role of initiator. Abstain from passively awaiting invitations. Instead, take charge and orchestrate gatherings. Arrange social gatherings at your residence or convene everyone for drinks on Friday evenings. Those who extend invitations tend to forge new friendships at an accelerated pace compared to those who await them. Ponder potential activities to undertake with your existing acquaintances or family this week, but encourage them to invite their own companions as well. Perhaps organize a movie screening, dine out together, or host a board game soiree. By leveraging the social networks of your current contacts, you broaden the scope of your friendship circle. Mind your social circle. In the words of Jim Rohn, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If your social circle primarily comprises individuals struggling with obesity, it's likely you face similar challenges. Extensive research conducted by Harvard and UC involving over 12,000 individuals aged 32 and above revealed a 57% increase in the likelihood of obesity for those with obese friends. Additionally, another study by Harvard, encompassing 4,739 participants, demonstrated that happiness and unhappiness tend to congregate. If a nearby friend is happy, you're 25% more likely to experience happiness as well. Evaluate the composition of your social circle. It serves as a reflection of your identity, illuminates areas for personal growth, and elucidates the type of individuals you aspire to surround yourself with. Are you mindful of your social circle? Share your observations in the comments section, identifying the current individuals in your circle and those you aspire to have. Remember, your environment often shapes you more than your genetic makeup. Monitor your social engagements. Quantify the time you invest in social interactions. Utilize a dedicated notebook as your meeting diary to meticulously document interactions exceeding an hour. Expand your scope beyond friendships to encompass conversations with strangers in waiting areas or interactions with your daily barista. Similarly, log periods of solitude. Maintain this diary for a month to gain comprehensive insights into your predominant social connections. In addition to time tracking, assess your emotional state following each interaction. Reflect on whether you felt invigorated or depleted in the company of specific individuals. Employ a simple one, 10 rating scale to gauge your emotional response. Cultivate self-awareness. Engage in introspection facilitated by your meeting diary and emotional tracking. Identify the individuals who energize you and those who drain your vitality. Pinpoint the elements lacking in certain relationships and the aspects fulfilled by others. Compile a list outlining your essential requirements and preferences, such as the necessity for support, humor, and attentiveness while avoiding directed sarcasm. Deliberate Social Circle Selection Armed with insights into your interpersonal needs, scrutinize whether your current social circle aligns with your expectations. Assess whether your circle adequately addresses your emotional requirements. Prioritize spending time with individuals who enrich your life while minimizing engagement with those who diminish your emotional well-being. 
As aptly articulated by George Washington, it's better to be alone than in bad company. Pursue reciprocal connections. Strive to forge relationships with individuals who inspire you and with whom you naturally resonate. However, if you perceive a lack of mutual interest, gracefully move forward and refrain from forcing friendships. Much like unrequited affection, certain dynamics cannot be altered through sheer determination or desire. Friendship operates similarly. If someone lacks the inclination to befriend you, no amount of effort will alter the outcome. Embrace this reality gracefully and seek out new connections. Always prioritize individuals who reciprocate your sentiments, for genuine bonds thrive on mutual respect and equality. Befriend Catalysts for Growth Incorporate individuals into your social circle who offer support and encouragement to facilitate personal development. Cultivate friendships with individuals slightly ahead of you in various aspects. Individuals who exude intelligence, charisma, and influence within their spheres, while fostering an environment where you feel valued as an equal. Echoing the sentiments of poet Vera Poloskova, embrace friendships with those superior to you. It may be challenging, but it promotes growth. Conversely, distance yourself from individuals who harbor jealousy towards your aspirations. Avoid associating with narrow-minded individuals who seek to undermine your ambitions. Genuine mentors inspire confidence in your potential for greatness. Establish your identity. Distinguish yourself in a manner that associates you with like-minded individuals in your area of expertise or passion. Your existing acquaintances will naturally introduce you to individuals sharing similar interests. Highlight one unique aspect of your life or hobby during interactions with new acquaintances. For instance, after discussing your occupation, casually mention your weekend pastime of baking cakes. While many may not react, there may come a time when someone expresses mutual enthusiasm, leading to opportunities for collaboration or connection. People will gravitate towards you as the embodiment of your distinct passion, establishing you as the focal point within your chosen community. Embrace novel experiences. Embrace opportunities that diverge from your usual routine. Adopt an affirmative approach to unfamiliar endeavors, whether it involves improv classes, theater workshops, or language lessons. Engage with online communities centered around unexplored hobbies and commit to participation. However, mere attendance is insufficient to cultivate new friendships. Adhere to Rule Hash 1 upon encountering intriguing individuals. Extend invitations for further interaction, such as suggesting a lunch outing nearby. By embodying the role of the initiator, you cultivate a fresh social network of companions. In the spirit of the film's message, I'm not embarking on this journey to attain a specific goal or prove a point. When questioned about my motivation, my response is simply, why not? By adhering to these principles, your social circle will undergo a remarkable transformation. You will find yourself surrounded by engaging intellectually stimulating individuals whose presence enriches your life. Until we meet again, dear friends.